Welcome to the Afro Latina Show. I am your host, Alicia Nabel Santos, La Diosa Dominicana, La Santera. Welcome to episode 130, Pain and Purification. Um, as I get ready for bed, I wanted to record my diary tonight. And, um, you know, sometimes when I'm not sure about you know, what it is I want to discuss or meditate on. I just kind of thumb through certain texts that I keep near my bed. And one of the lines that I read was about pain and purification and poverty and all that can be learned in pain, right? I feel deeply that Many of us are suffering right now. The state of our world is in pain right now um, with the tragedies um, and gun violence happening all over this country and just around the world. Um, we're in pain. We're in pain. And so this idea of purification um for me feels like there are some things that we have to purge you know and part of it is the process of living inside of the pain feeling the pain moving through the pain understanding the pain navigating the pain and then trying to bring that pain to the surface and find healing you know, how can we move toward purification? Purification gets a sort of bad rap. But for me, the word and ideas of purification are this cleansing, this releasing of, you know, this, this idea of renewal and wellness and healing. And so for me, um, a lot of the pain that I have navigated and worked through, I've had to feel and get inside and just kind of like relive and be in the, the dirt, the dirt of it, the griminess of it, um, and die in a lot of ways. A lot of that pain, I have had to kill myself over and over again. And this idea of being reborn is the purification. It's the newness. It's the beginning again, this opportunity to begin again. And so... As we process everything that's happening in the world, in our lives, I pray for our healing. I pray for our understanding. I pray for patience and clarity. Um, and I pray for the, for the wisdom that comes through understanding and processing pain, right? And as we move toward this idea of purification, it's being open to allowing certain things to die, beliefs, relationships, choices, the past, you know, so that we can begin anew, Right? So with that, let's close our eyes and let's meditate. Let's do a little evening meditation. And let's take some gentle breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing. What brings you so much pain right now? Are you in pain right now? What's at the root of it? What would it take to allow that pain to die and allow yourself to cleanse and purge and purify 
that pain and just connect to this newness, to this rebirth, to this new you. When you're ready, come out of meditation. Family, this is an individual journey. We are in a shared collective experience. But the only person that we're responsible for at this point is ourselves. How we move in the world, how we deal with our pain. I, I, my intention is to not, not allow my pain to, to make me inflict pain on others, right? I want to be very careful of that, that my pain doesn't inflict pain on others. And so that's my intention. You know, whatever causes me pain, I need to learn to sit with that and process that and figure out ways to cleanse myself of it and purify, right? That is my job. And so with that, my dears, I'm wishing you all a beautiful, gentle, loving evening. May you have incredible dreams. And I will see you tomorrow.